self-awareness what's stopping us from developing improving our self-awareness what's stopping us from being happy healthy and successful hi guys my name is lena semenek and this is my youtube channel psychology of happiness where happiness is the purpose of life Today I'm going to talk about self-awareness. This is part two of this uh, video and I'm sharing with you three enemies of self-awareness, three reasons what's stopping us from improving our self-awareness. If you did not see the first one, uh, I will leave the link below this video. Today we're going to talk about the second enemy or second reason why it's so hard to develop self-awareness. Let's start. When it comes to money, health and relationship, we love to use generalization. And that's why we don't have enough money, we don't have relationship or we have one, but we struggle a lot and we have problems with health. So generalization is a behavior pattern in NLP, neuro linguistic programming, which stopping us from being aware of the situation, which stopping us from being aware of our own feelings and which stopping us from improving our self-awareness, which is stopping us from being happy, healthy and live fulfilled, successful, loving life. So generalization is when a person generalizes his feelings, his emotions and applies his feelings towards other people and towards himself. And in reality, every situation is different. So those feelings are not true for every situation and not true for every person. So when you hear words like everyone, no one, never, always, can't, have to, should, must, it means that the person generalizes his previous experience and applies it to the current situation. So let's talk about three examples, one about money, one about relationship and one about health. And I will show you how we use generalization and how it's stopping us from improving self-awareness and how it's making our life unsuccessful, unhappy and bringing difficulties to achieve our goals. Let's start. The first example about relationship, a woman is saying, no one loves me, all guys are cheaters, no one tells me the truth, everyone is lying, everyone is thinking about himself. Did you hear? No one, everyone, all guys, every time. So she had a bad experience in her past and that's why she is bringing that bad experience to her present and she is generalizing uh, past situation with this current situation. So how can you reduce generalization? In this situation, to reduce generalization, you have to ask yourself, really, nobody, not even one person, everyone is lying, 100%, all guys are cheaters. Did you hear stories maybe when guys are not cheating or they are all lying, everyone? So did anybody tell you the truth at least one time in your life? Did you know anyone who is not cheating on his girlfriend, on his wife? How do you know where is evidence of that, uh, uh, that guys are lying every time? So uh, do you know at least one person who cares about you? Maybe it's your brother, maybe it's your neighbor, maybe it's your father, maybe it's your uncle, maybe it's your grandfather, maybe it's your teacher. They're also guys. So all guys are liars. When you give your brain additional questions, additional people to compare, your brain will start notice generalization. Let's move on to the second example about money. Money. We have so many beliefs about money. We love to generalize everything when it comes to money and career. Example, a guy comes to me and says, I can't make more money. I can't find a better job. I tried it last year, I spent three months and they could not. I know what I'm talking about. So in this case, the guy took experience from last year and decided that because he could not find a better job last year, he can't do it this year. But is it true? No, it's not true. So in this situation, the good questions would be, uh, did you try it this year? Did you actually try it this year? What skills did you learn within the last year? 
What skills do you need to find a better job? Are you sure that you cannot improve your skills and get promoted on your current job? Maybe you can make more money uh, doing what you're doing right now. How many interviews did you go? Did you try to revise your resume? Generalization. When we hear I can't, I tried it before, this is generalization. When we take our past experience and bring it to the current situation. And every situation is different. You are different. Every day you are learning new skills. Every day you are making new experience. And every day you are getting better, better and better. So generalization is the biggest enemy of the self-awareness. And start try to notice the words can't, must, have to, always, anyone, no one. And finally, let's move to the health example as I promised. Health. Let's talk about popular health issue, which is weight loss. Uh, a lot of people know that extra weight and overweight is very bad for your health. So when a person is saying, I can't lose weight, I tried all diets, I tried all exercises, I tried everything and I can't. I've been chubby when I was a child, I've been chubby when I was a teenager and I'm chubby right now. So in this case, this is generalization. Generalization that was created within years. And it's very hard to notice how we generalize things when uh, they started from the childhood. So in this case, start asking specific questions. Like, did you try all exercises, every single type of workout? Did you try all diets, every types of diets? Did you try to consult with all doctors uh, and try to find the reasons uh, of your weight loss problem? Did you go to therapy? Did you go to all therapists? So, and if the person is saying yes or saying something like, of course not all, but enough, like 20, 50, like good amount within the last 10 years, I tried like maybe 25 different diets. So in this case, the question is, what benefits are you getting from this generalization? What benefits are you getting from being overweight? So every person is different. And for you, it might be one benefit. And for the other person, it might be completely different benefit. What's going to happen if you actually lose weight? What's going to happen with you? Uh, what's new going to be in your life? you're going to be a different person. You're going to look different. You're going to feel different. So what's going to change in your life? How weight loss will affect your life? So maybe it's not about diet. Maybe it's not about exercise. And by generalization, by using generalization, you keep yourself in the same position for years. So what's going to happen if you're going to move aside generalization? How your life is going to change? So try to focus on the words always, everyone, no one, um, of course, everyone knows, as we all know, I can't, I must, I have to. Those words are the key elements for the generalization. When you generalize, you are putting yourself in a box, you limit yourself from being happy, from feeling free, from achieving success and from uh, seeing opportunities that life gives you. So reduce generalization and improve your self-awareness. Also, two other enemies of self-awareness, deletion and distortion. All links will be below this video. Watch this video, practice, ask your questions, share your opinion, share this video with your friends on your Facebook, Twitter, subscribe to my channel so you won't miss new videos, click the bell icon to receive notifications, and thank you for watching Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life.